welcome to Al Farabi Kazakh National University. And today we have a guest. It's Honorable Professor, uh, Dr. Albert Fischler, and he is former professor of Sorbonne University in Paris and University of Saint Fontainebleau. And today we plan to discuss uh, the role of education, higher education in the modern world, and uh, the changes what we hear, could see in the modern world. You know, Professor mm -hmm. Fischler, uh, Benjamin Franklin once said that investment into education is the best investment into the future. But what kind of future universities are supposed to create? And should they create future or is it, should they follow the future? It's a gr good question you asked to me because, uh, first, you have a great tradition in Kazakhstan to this pro about this problem because the great Abai himself said uh, in the 19th century in, uh, in his uh, 25 uh, reflection in prose that if you want your son becomes a man, it is necessary to, to, uh, to go to him to the school. So uh, it's a good idea, it's a good uh, principle. So now, for the future, it's uh, in the new uh, Kazakhstan independent, uh, for the, the young people, it is important to go to the school and not only to the school, to go to the secondary school and university school. Because now the, the world is very open. It's, we, we live, the young people live now in an open world. And it is necessary to to have a good and information about the world. So I consider that the the, the principle to to learn in Kazakh school, Kazakhstani school, three language is a good thing because it is necessary for the, your multi-ethnic and multi-confessional land to uh, to understand all the people through the the three language. Kazakh, Russian, and English, and maybe because for me it's in simple, and maybe in French language. So for the future, uh, I, I am I am sure that the young people, the young generation, um, with all this uh, understand, with all this learning, uh, is well, was able to uh, to uh, to understand the world. To, uh, was able to uh, travel through the world and uh, to, um, to bring to Kazakhstan a great importance in the world. Now, uh, after 25 years, Kazakhstan have already a great importance in the world. I don't know if the, the French public, the Kazakh public knows this, but it is reality. Kazakhstan has a great importance now already in the world. The proof, the proof is that Kazakhstan organized. Kazakhstan was the president of uh, OSC in uh, 2010, and uh, Kazakhstan organized in 2003 the first uh, congress for the leader of the great religion in the world. And every three years there is a congress in Astana in the pyramid of the peace and concord. So it is Kazakhstan who had which had uh, this idea and, and which organized. So Kazakhstan has a great importance and Kazakhstan is respect now in the world. So he obtained in uh, ja last January a, a seat in the uh, nation, uh, United Nations and it is you know, So for the young people, education is absolutely necessary, but the high education is absolutely necessary. And I, I am sure that in the future, many and many of the young people obtain a diploma, obtain an exam for the, to, have, to, to be able to, to, to the world, to be able to, to go to the world and to be able to learn every culture, every, each culture and each uh, situation in the world. Because our world is a, is a difficult world, in a fairly sense world with uh, some tragedy, but some problems, with many problems. But I am sure that the young generation are able to affront this situation. But, but you know, you said that uh, young people from Kazakhstan should go to foreign countries to study more. But what about foreign countries? Are they ready to study more about Kazakhstan? I know that you were among first people, uh, first uh, scholars 
in France to introduce Al Farabi to white public, and you talk about Abai to white public in uh, France. So, what was the reception of those ideas? Yes, I think sincerely, I think that uh, in Western region uh, they don't know very well. Uh, I regret, but they don't know very great the, um, for example, the uh, the um, literature of Abai and the philosophy of Farabi. Some specialists, yes, some good and great specialists in France, in Germany, in other, but special, especially in France, some specialists uh, know Abai, know uh, Al Farabi, for example, a great philosopher in France, uh, know like, like Henri Corbin or Louis Massignon or now um, Ali Ben Maklouf, know very well Al Farabi. Other, other specialists know Abai, but uh, I regret that there are no many specialists in France too. What so I, I, done to change? So I, I hope with the changement that uh, you, your great uh, thinkers like Abai or like uh, Al Farabi or like uh, Al Farabi will be um, more uh, 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 understand in the uh, Occident and especially in France, yes. Mm -hmm. What should be done to study more? Uh, Al-Farabi in Western world? I, uh, I think, uh, I, I study, personally, I study Al-Farabi things, and, uh, and especially al things. But, um, and, and uh, I, I am uh, the, the pretension to, 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 to show to the French public, to the French specialist public, the, the deep of the, the think of Abai and the, think of the, the deep of the think of Al-Farabi. So um, I make many, many conferences, many lectures in the university in France and uh, social cultural centers and also in UNESCO to uh, learn to the public the reality of uh, the, the things of Abai and the things, for example, Abai and, uh, and uh, al farbi but other like uh, Mokhtar Wezov, for example, Vali Khanov, for example. And you know, but at universities in the in modern world, we have the competition between two ideas, mm -hmm. two concepts. One says we have to st study sciences only, math, physics, chemistry, that's enough. We need to create better future, better economy, better industries. Others say we have to study more humanities and to help people and societies to be uh, better, you know, and more human. So what about you? How to balance studying sciences and thinking about techno future and uh, studying humanities, which is actually very different. Yeah, so it which was schools do you support? Yes, it was a, a very old question. This and Al Farabi him, itself, himself uh, answered to this because Al Farabi was a, a philosopher, but he was also a medicine, he was also a math, and he was also a musician. So I think that it is necessary for, for a modern human to be old, also scientific and literature and philosopher. It is necessary to be boss, boss, it is necessary. Not too specialist, only in philosophy, only in science, because you, 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 built, uh, 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 you built a man or woman, you build a humanity too, too, too specialist. So it is necessary to have uh, learn in, the, the, in, every, um, in every understanding, yes. When we talk about philosophy, you know, uh, I met a couple of uh, people at the uh, Al Farabi University and I talked to the management. And the concept is a uh, philosophy is to create a smart university. Smart university which is supposed to be in the center, uh, not only of the society, of the community, not only in the city, but also in the country, to provide leadership in technologies, in the humanities, and in many areas. So, uh, one idea was, uh, was supported by Al Farabi University. Is Expo 2017, which will be in uh, summer 2017 mm -hmm. in Astana. The yeah. idea was that university like Al Farabi and many other universities are supposed to join, supposed to contribute, and supposed to uh, be like on the top of the, the dialogue. This year, dialogue is about energy, energy of the future. And do you think that is a good idea or it does it deviate from the main purpose of university, which is just to teach students? So not it, it's a good idea because it's a good idea to join 
to join the relation between the university and also the world university, university in the world. It is a good idea. It is necessary for your university, Al Farabi University, to have good links good relation with other universities in the world. I know that you have a relation with a university in the state, I suppose in Michigan or Columbia, but I, I hope that you have a relation with the French university like Sorbonne, like another in, in France. Uh, you have some uh, relation with the city, not with a university in France. You have a relation with the city of Rennes, Rennes in the west of France because Rennes is the only city which is which is uh, uh, linked with the Al with Almaty, but the, in the university there are three universities here in Rennes, and in this university there are little relation with uh, Almaty, but I hope there are uh, better relation with Al But in other part of the you know, of Europe, I say that you. I know that you have a relation with Germany, with Italy, so it is a good thing to join, yes, a relation, uh, to have a relation with the other um, uh, university, and it is necessary for you to have a good, to have a, a great importance in the world to have this relation. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. But what about the main purpose of university, which is about teaching, or should universities change? and talk not only about teaching, not only about research, but talking about more contribution to the development of the society. The university has a role very important in the development of the society because she formed the, the, the future specialist in all domains. In all domain. So uh, it is necessary for the university uh, to be directly in contact with the society, not only to form an elite, but to form a great part of... You know, I, I teach. I teach and I always have students at the different levels, a bachelor level, master degree and PhD. And one actually our, uh, like angle, which is very important for me, to motivate students to study more, to, uh, to, to do more for their research, for their mm -hmm. you know, education. So what would you suggest students? To do to become more successful after graduation with a student yeah well if you say for example come to my students you know <laughs> you, you'd like to encourage them to, to yes to, so, uh, we, to we, study more what kind of arguments yes you argument Maybe so, from your experience yeah. at Sorbonne yes so um, for the for the professor for the teacher now it's a period very difficult because it is not the period when the teacher or the professor well, uh, was in the chair and he speak and the student was very silent and very uh, obey, obey to the to professor. Now it is necessary pro for the teacher or the professor uh, to have the, a great uh, knowledge of the new uh, technical uh, mean uh, way, uh, like a computer, like a camera, like a TV, to teach to the student and to enter the student by this way. It is very necessary and for. Uh, certain teacher of a certain professor, it, it is difficult because there's a great revolution in their manner of uh, of learning. Mm -hmm. So, what do you teach at your university, and for how long at Sorbonne? Uh, in uh, I, uh, no, uh, first, in, uh, uh, pardon, uh, chiefly in uh, Fontainebleau, chiefly in Fontainebleau, Sorbonne later time, Fontainebleau, yes, during uh, pff, uh, during uh, the, uh, three hundred uh, three. Uh, uh, we uh, thirty thirty years yes, but um, I I I I try to to make my learning to make my teaching with uh, to with the aid of the modern technique in in my period not a computer but a TV yes to a camera yes a magnetoscope for adjusting the the voice. But it is necessary because if you are uh, all the conception of the learning only by magistral speaking to the student, it's an, it's now it's not the good. So I was I hope, I try to 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 add, to be to have the head of uh, the TV to have the head of the of the, um, the kino <laughs> the, the film and uh, to have the head also uh, of the um, magnetoscope. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, just before coming here, 
to, to our interview. I had discussion with uh, our colleagues from International Co Cooperation Department, and they told me that just recently, a month ago, a rector of Al-Farabi University signed an uh, MOU uh, with uh, uh, president of uh, so so Sorbonne University, I believe, Paris 7. So it means we will have more collaboration uh, between uh, Al-Farabi University and Sorbonne, mm, good. between uh, Kazakhstan and France. What do you think? What is uh, most important things what students from Al Farabi can learn at Sorbonne? I think that Sorbonne special. It's Sorbonne special, yes. Yeah, I think that uh, Sorbonne is a very famous uh, university and very known in the world. And for the st uh, Kazakhstani students, it's a very good, uh, uh, good thing to to have relation with the student of Sorbonne. So uh, I think it is a good thing that you have now relation with this part of the uni French University. So it is necessary for the Kazakhstani student to, to know very well English, yes, but French. I think that it is necessary to have a good relation with Sorbonne University. It is necessary to have a, a good uh, knowledge in French language because um, be, because in Sorbonne, uh, many courses are in French language. So it is necessary for the uh, Kazakhstan student to have a good, uh, a good knowledge in uh, French uh, language. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So, and we have a couple of final minutes. And, uh, you know, we will show this program to many people in Kazakhstan. And uh, probably a lot of people, uh, young people, a lot of students will watch it. So what will you suggest them to do? To be successful, what do you suggest them to study? To, uh, to, uh, to be successful in this modern world, in the modern in, in the 21st century. Yes, I think it is necessary to have a general culture, general culture in uh, literature, in philosophy, and in math, in physics. It is absolutely necessary because if not, the public, the young public have not this uh, culture, uh, they they will be little. Um, uh, handicapped by uh, by the by this way and in uh, in the in the way. So it is necessary to have the two, like we we said before, uh, to have the two direction in in uh, in literature and in uh, scientific direction. It is absolutely ne even even if you the the young people um, becomes, uh, for example, philosopher. It is necessary to have also another way of uh, other old culture, for example, bi biology or, for example, a great uh, uh, culture in history or geography. It is ne absolutely necessary to have the boss, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And today we had our honorable guest, Professor Albert Fischler, who is a former professor of Sorbonne University and University of Fontainebleau. He is a, a laureate of a couple of prestigious prizes in France, and he shared his experience at Sorbonne and his view on higher education in 21st century and why students more, more should be more active in their studies. 